What is going on guys? My name is Epic Soren and we are back with Firewatch and our Truck Alaska calendar. Um, maybe I should play like this. Nah, this will be good. Okay, so um, what are we supposed to be doing right Oh, that, that's not what I wanted. We are supposed to be... Oh, I have a flashlight. That's right. Okay. So, welcome back to Firewatch. Uh, firstly, before we get into this, this game does have a lot of strong language, and if you don't like strong language, you should probably not watch this. If you don't mind, though, have at it. Can you see the communication wires from where you are? I can see the poles, but I have no idea if the wire is in good shape or not. They run a good distance up to a spot called Beartooth Point. You just need to walk along them all the way up there and make sure everything's in ship shape. Okay, so I'm supposed to be going up to Beartooth Point to make sure the wires are working. Okay. Wait, I should probably keep that out. Am I going the right way? Yeah, all right. So, what's, what's, oh yeah, it's R, is it? Yeah. It's weird controls in this game, but, you know, it works, I think, so far. Am I going the right way? I think I'm going the right way. Yeah. Alrighty. So, uh, hopefully I'll, whoa, it's foggy down here this morning. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. There's that language like I was talking about. The mornings are cold in Boulder though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? I just spend a lot of time with Julia. Oh, so you have someone there. Well... But you're taking a little break, or... We're... <sighs> Look, I'm sorry, can you hold that thought? Uh, sure, I'm just gonna keep... Hiking and hoping it warms up. Yeah. Hey, yo. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. I beg your pardon. I'm absolutely sure. Sure about what? Would you? Would I what? Alright, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, uh, Julia, girlfriend? Ex? Sorry, I, I don't mean to pry. Who was that? Who was who? Yeah. I don't think he has any idea. What, what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. Hmm. Mystery. Well, it was one, two, three, four, right? Yeah, okay. So, what do we got in here? Toilet paper. Jane Eyre. Pine cones. Guess I might as well copy down this information. And what's this note? Ron, really wish the powers that be could issue us radios that didn't suck. Most of the time I'd prefer to keep things pen to paper, but every once in a while it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. <laughs> I've been sitting at the spot for a while now thinking about what to say to her, but I'm a quarter way through this bottle of fifes instead. Miss you, Dave. Uh, I guess I can keep it? Alrighty. We should sprint. Wait, I can't sprint if I'm looking at the map, can I? Oh. I'm going the wrong way. I'm supposed to be going up there. Gosh dang it. Uh, 
<laughs> well, smooth. I take it you fell prey to the Forest Service's big recruiting effort when it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here. Uh, I was actually I went looking for the job. Totally. Wanted to get out of town for a while. Yeah. Yeah, totally. You've come to the right place. Thanks to last summer, we got a bump in Forest Service budget and can actually afford to have you. What happened last summer that accounted for this, um, windfall? Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? Yellowstone is, like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. There were reports that the entire park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news. I mean, what the hell's he gonna do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the Gipper? Well, what so should they have done? I don't even know. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't gonna burn themselves out, a hundred thousand acres were gone. It's Yellowstone, you know? People don't want to touch it. But we touch it every single day. But hey, I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. Like the goddamn park can burn down again. This is back in the 80s, so 30 cents an hour, that's that's a really good raise. I mean, when I got my first raise at Subway, it was only 20 cents an hour. So, dang. You wake up pretty early then, huh? As soon as the sun comes up, the Forest Service really frowns on us putting up curtains for some reason. I just covered my head with my pillow. It seems to do the trick. Wow. The forest could never burn down on your watch. Okay, so I'm going the right way. Uh, somebody mentioned that the graphics in this game look like uh, Team Fortress 2. And I agree, they do. Am I still going the right way? It looks cold out here. It feels like... It looks like it would f feel like the mornings in, like, Alaska during the summer. It can be pretty chilly. Okay, where do I need to Oh, did I not open this? I could have sworn I opened this. One, two, three, four. What do we got in here? Huh. I could have sworn I opened that. Wait, where am I going? Oh, okay, I want to go up this way then. I think? Is this a, is this a trail? Okay, <laughs> whatever. Okay, um... Can I talk to you? I guess not. It's really foggy down here. This is really atmospheric. I really like this. It's peaceful and calm. There's the wire. I think, right? That's the wire I'm supposed to be... Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Hmm. Oh, there's a little... Clearing? So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? <laughs> Seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out, but I'd rather it not come to that. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I'm looking at that going, um, what? What's, what's this? Um... Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. 
Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. Anything I should know about the cabin at the top of this hill? Hello? Okay, then. No, no response? Yeah, totally take a detour from the mission, you know, let's go see what's down here. Nothing, nothing suspicious, I guess. Oh, ruined, burned a bit. Looks like this thing burned down, which, you know, is a problem. Oh well. I wonder why Delilah didn't respond when I asked about this cabin. We will just wander away and pretend we don't know anything about it. Now I have seen in some Let's Plays there's a turtle around here somewhere. Maybe I will get the turtle? I don't know. I see the point. Am I going the right way? <laughs> I have no idea if I'm going the right way. Well, I, th I think I see a supply drop. So that's good. Oh, come on! I can't just drop down? Why were they all on five? Two, three, four. Anything useful in here? Um. Dave, hey yo, I got your note about needing to talk. I'm sorry I didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be out near the canyon helping those grad students, but I guess not. I don't even know how I could really help anyway. We're co-workers, you know, amigos, professionals. If you need someone to throw back a case with and go time traveling, Ron's your guy. But I'm not great with the life stuff. You get it? Later on, Ron. Okay. Guess I'll keep those. Nothing else in there. Might as well keep that information close, I guess. The sun has started to... Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Really? Awesome. Good find. It's like, I don't know, a mile and a half east of me. You just follow the trail up the hill, you can't miss it. I'll go see what the damage is. Oh. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it the moment you said you found their trash. Oh, these idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Oh, let's hear it. Oh yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <sighs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Oh, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. Well, I've been Downward finding it. They were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Oh. Oh. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Ow. <laughs> well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Well, I am flush with ropes now. 
That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. What? Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. You, you've... <laughs> was he a fella you had a thing with? Mm, yeah, it was so hot and heavy. Of course, Brian Goodwin was 12 years old, so... <laughs> I really be understood. <laughs> I'm kidding. Not about him being an actual 12-year-old. That part's true. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned. And, um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. Yeah. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? <laughs> I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on Five Mile clue. Creek. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Okay. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature piece by piece. Guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that blank Steve. It's your man, Ron. I went up to check on the new guy at Two Forks, uh, that's where I was, and heard him talking to himself more than usual for L.O.'s, so I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock hanging himself and ha having... Oh, how? Okay. I started to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course. We're the crim... Not <laughs> crim... Let's toast to Deb at the spot. I wonder if he means Delilah or like Debbie or something. I don't know. Better copy down this information just in case. And we can close it. Hey, sorry about snapping at you earlier. Um, I thought about it and... Yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. <sighs> Trust me, I know how it is. So, did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. I'm actually married. But you're here. She's sick. And I shouldn't be here, but I am. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Oh, uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea cows on the trail. <laughs> So the Forest Service would put up a big chain-link fence? A chain-link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. Yeah. Do you think those girls could be behind this fence? Hmm, well, having once been an ornery young woman, the last thing I would do is climb a fence. Especially if I knew I was in trouble. I don't even know how I would get in. It's 
It's really strange that that's out there, by the way. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> Why is there a chain link fence in the middle of nowhere? Oh, it's dark and cold down here. Keep hearing footsteps that don't sound like mine, which is kind of not good. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. <laughs> flapjack? <laughs> Excuse me, flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't. But I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have to use that sometime. Oh. Oh, here's another rope hook. I actually have no idea where I'm going at this point, but, you know, whatever. Well, this one looks pretty... Pretty, uh, pretty steep and long. Please don't snap on me, rope. I know I'm repelling terribly, but please don't. Oh, I keep hitting tab. It's this button. Okay, so I'm trying to get down to Five Mile Creek, so it looks like the fastest way to do that will be to go up here, up towards Cache 306, down the lake trail, and then down this lighter area, down to 309, and then down the creek. That's what I will do. Wow. I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Ah, oh, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. <laughs> these guys, these act- the voice actors have really good chemistry. I like that. We can go up here some. What? Wait. There's music. I just noticed that. Is that good? It sounds good. I guess that's good. Maybe. Jonesy Lake. Okay, so I'm going the right way. One. No, no. Two. Three. Four. Anything in here? Hey, there's a snack in here. Probably gonna eat it. You definitely do not want to do that. Whatever's in there has been in there for years. That's how you get food poisoning. Yep, we're, we'll just leave it there. Let's look at this map. Where are we? Okay, so I need to go down this trail a little bit. Over this way, I think. What does she have? She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Well, 
Well, we didn't really understand what was happening. You don't get Alzheimer's in your late 30s. No kidding. But even then, we didn't really get it until she couldn't work anymore and I couldn't leave her alone. It wasn't until then that I said, oh, this is it. This is over. That was hard. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. I'm back at the shale slide. You know, the one that nearly killed me yesterday. You ready to give it another shot? <sighs> Do oh. I seriously have to? To get down to Five Mile Creek? Yeah, afraid so. It's quite a ways downhill from here. Guess we'll try it. Can't be that bad, right? Not killing me yet. Well, you know, if I would repel the correct way, maybe it wouldn't kill me. Just a thought. Okay, I'm getting I'm getting more of the hang of these controls. Wow, it got jittery there for a second. Oh wow. I think this is where I'm supposed to go, right? Yeah. How many ropes do I have? Probably best not to waste my flashlight right now. Wait, where's that thin plume of smoke? I was supposed to be keeping an eye on it. Dang it, I'm failing at my job. Failing, I tell you. Am I going the right way? I think I'm still going the right way. Yeah, okay. I lost the thin plume of smoke. Okay, one, two, three, four. Alrighty. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. He was off. Wow. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. You told me to go out here. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. I did. Well, yeah, they I their did, but... Yeah, a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Found one of their empties. Guess we're on the right track. Roger that. Great. Oh, there's that music again. It is beautiful. This I love this style and the art of this game. Oh, here's another one. Found another. Roger that. Wrong way, maybe? I don't know. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Yeah. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. It's nice that I found this camera. I'm probably going through these 
pictures way too fast. I, I'm probably gonna need... Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Yeah. Strange. Is the word I would use for that, I guess. Maybe. Hopefully this doesn't fall on me. What? Teen campfire. I see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? No, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down and don't let them see you. What a job this is. What, is it not out yet? Okay, you know what, whatever. <laughs> I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like... Evidence! Incrimination. Guess who's gonna get a scare? Uh... The tent looks like it's been through the shredder. Which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a, like a bear, or um... I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Oh, they're gone, for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? I need to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, did you? Uh. <laughs> no, I did no, destroy. Well, I, I didn't do this. Okay, someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. I didn't. Of course I didn't. I just threw their stereo in the lake. <laughs> yeah, I really wish you wouldn't have done that. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay. Should probably I believe that. you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, <laughs> but they're gone. This There's looks no way to call screwed the cops. up. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Oh. <laughs> wow, I'm jumpy. Day three. I guess I will finish up this video here. I guess we will stop right there at the end of day two. Thank you guys very much for watching this. Uh, hopefully I'll keep posting these uh, two or three at a time throughout the week. Or two or, th two or three per week until I finish the game, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. Leave a like if you did enjoy that. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Peace. Bye.